if your own 4K Google TV box is not turning on or not displaying anything, even if it has power, it doesn't display any picture. Then follow along as I show you some easy to follow steps that will help fix your own 4K streaming device that's stuck on black screen and won't turn on. First of all, ensure that the power cable is connected properly and it has power. You can try unplugging the power cable and then plug it back in. After that, you should see the startup LED coming up one by one. If it turns on all the way but still doesn't show anything, then next, you should check whether you have selected the correct HDMI or display input on your TV or monitor. If it still doesn't show anything, then you can also try changing the HDMI port or the HDMI cable itself. If troubleshooting the power cable and the HDMI cable isn't fixed yet, then next we will cold boot our own 4K TV box. Just unplug the power cord and wait for around 5 minutes. And while you're waiting, plug out any accessories that's connected to the USB port before turning it on. If it still doesn't turn on, then next we will try booting our own 4K TV box into recovery mode. For that, you'll need to unplug the power cable once again, and while it's unplugged, hold down the reset button that will be at the back side as well, and while holding the reset button, plug the power cord back in. Now wait for until it shows the on logo, then you can let go, and your on 4K streaming device will boot up in Android recovery mode. From here you can navigate using the onboard reset button or find my remote button. First we'll try reboot system now by holding down either of these buttons, until it turns green and then release them. And if rebooting doesn't work, then come back here and select wipe data slash factory reset. But note that after factory resetting, this will erase all your TV's data and you'll have to set your own TV player back up. But hopefully after doing this, your own 4K TV box will come back on. If it didn't work and it still won't turn on, then there may be some hardware damage and you should get in touch with ON or Walmart support. Make sure to let us know how it went. If this helped, drop a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.